who's the player we love? Who's the start of the week? That's a guy that we were very excited about all season long. Uh, you know, couldn't wait for him to, to perform uh, at a high level. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott. Um, <laughs> uh, I think this is a good spot for him. Obviously, the Lions defense not very good. They've given up, uh, I think it's uh, five in five games. Um, here, I have it for you. Uh, five running backs, at least 15 more PPR points. Uh, eight rushing touchdowns. I thought Zeke looked really good last week, not just because of the stat line, but just the way that he ran against a tough Philadelphia run defense. So it looks like he's getting more comfortable with the offensive line. I thought the line's playing better. But clearly the big part of this is Dak Prescott coming back and opening up the running lanes for them. You know, So I don't think you're going to see the threat of uh, – you not have the threat of a passing game as opposed to what they have with Cooper Rush. So this could be a, a potential top 10 week for Ezekiel Elliott. I'll, I'll, I'll couch it more as a top 15 week. But I also think you could start Tony Pollard as well, uh, just based on how these guys have been used – in tandem um clearly zeke playing more but i think pollard also has a chance to be a top 20 running back this week so if you can start both cowboys running backs i don't know if you want to do it together uh but i have no problem starting both of them in this matchup all right uh, heath who are you starting who are you liking the loving this week i am loving josh reynolds this week not quite to the extent of a top 15 like Ezekiel Elliott, but he is a top 20 wide receiver for me he has 28 targets in his last three games and the two games in those in that stretch that he had 10 targets among ross st brown actually played so it's not just a product of st brown being out i think that the, he and josh reynolds will be the top two wide receivers in a game where they're chasing points against the cowboys because their defense is so bad wouldn't be surprised if he has eight to ten targets again so He's on the injury healthy. report, though, uh, Josh Reynolds. He has a knee injury, I think. That Everybody in the Lions is on the injury report. Yeah, but this was a new one. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. Um, all right, that's kind of, that's interesting. Boy, that's a surprise. I really thought that his production would be just tied to Amon St. Brown's absence. And I can't really say Amon St. Brown played in week five. He played 20 snaps, I think. Uh, but you're right about the other two games uh, with uh, with Reynolds. And yeah, 12.8 or more PPR fantasy points in four straight games, actually, for Josh Reynolds. All right. Interesting. Good stuff, Heath. Uh, how about a player to avoid, Jamie? Who are we sitting? I would sit David Montgomery if you can. Um, it's a brutal matchup against the Patriots. They've yet to allow a running back to score a touchdown. Uh, no running back is more than 60 yards on the ground against this defense. Um, it's just been it's very tough to run against the Patriots. And, and clearly, they know what the Bears are going to do. It's not like they're going to surprise Chicago's not going to surprise New England and all of a sudden come out throwing the ball all over the place and change their approach, uh, which they probably should, but I just doubt that that's going to happen. I mean, just look at what they did to uh, Nick Chubb, holding him to 70 total yards. Uh, clearly, David Montgomery is not that level of player. This is not that level of offense. Um, the only team to have success against this Patriots run defense was the Packers, and it was the overtime game where Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon just went crazy uh, by comparison to the defense that they're facing. So I just think it's going to be a rough game for Montgomery. He's going to have to make a lot of plays in the passing game, which he has the ability to, uh, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to make him a slam dunk must start guy like he typically has been. So if you can sit him, sit him this week. And Khalil Herbert, by the way, 75% rostered. So he is going down in roster percentage and that might be a mistake. So just he's some, somebody that you, if you can roster Khalil Herbert, you should. Uh, Heath, who are you avoiding? Uh, I would really like to not start Brian Robinson. Um, I, I know that the Packers run defense hasn't been good, but the Washington commanders have played against the lions and the bears who don't have good run defenses and run for three and a half yards per carry or worse. I just think this run game is too bad and he is not running efficiently and he's not getting any work at all in the passing game. Doesn't have a target in two games. 